Hello, welcome to the finals of this draft. We're on the play. And <laughs> every time we get a bad hand, game one, hand one. I don't know if that says more about my deck. Like, why can't we get this without a mulligan? I mean, this hand is awesome and pretty much everything I could ever ask for, but still. Why can't I just do this the <laughs> first time? Um, I think I do want to commune because I could hit that three drop dinosaur. Or ranging raptors. Uh, that's actually way better than a land. And it doesn't matter the order. Oh! No, that was the issue. I can't play Sky Terror on turn two. Jeez, dude. That was why I needed to wait. Ugh. Sorry, everybody. That was actually like a pretty big punt. I just saw one drop and I was like, oh yeah, I can play it on turn one. That's great. Well, at least I can trade and be up a land or something. But yeah, that's pretty brutal. Man, they'd be... they'd have taken two already. I'm fine trading this off. I'm, I'm not gonna be like... I'm just gonna be blocking this later anyway. Um... Yep, I'm gonna get double red. Because we have the Sky Cannons Barrage or whatever that card is. Yep, we have a 2-2 guy. Yep. Yeah, I... they would have taken four damage already. Okay, so we're gonna chalk that up as a punt. Um, that's, that's what happens when you play an autopilot. I'm gonna take the two, my creature's way better than theirs. Sure. They have no dino. <laughs> Okay, that's a lot of lands. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I only have six here. Uh, I think I still want to wait on this unfriendly fire. Like a three three is annoying, but we have much bigger creatures. And I, it doesn't seem like they have any dinosaurs. And I'd rather. The only one I'd be worried about is the Hammer Skull. Um, but I'd rather just kill that one. Okay, double Pterodon Knight I may have to kill. Or play this guy. So I'm gonna attack for two, and then pass. Um, they can attack with double Pterodon Knight, but then the Blood Letter doesn't attack very well. What do you have? I have to run into whatever they have. There's no way I can play around a trick. Okay. Sure. You know you could have just attacked with two Pterodon Knights and then my blocks were terrible. But, whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, now we can just smash. Play a Grazing Whiptail. It's a very weird attack by my opponent. I mean, I'm very happy with it. Four. And I'm just gonna keep this forest in hand. It makes it look like I have more action than I do. And it's... I'm not gonna be playing any... Um, I don't have any card draw. I guess commune with the dinosaurs, but that can't hit me a creature and a land. Sure. Oh, forget it has reach. Please forget it has reach. Oh, they figured it out. 
Okay, I like Fathom Fleet Firebrand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can play both. Um, so we can smash with these two for seven. Actually, we can swing out. If they don't block, they're just dead. Right? This is Menace, so that can't block. Oh, but there's two of them. Right, right, right. Um, I think I just killed a 3 4. And then they have no good blocks. I guess the double block on Grazing Gliptail is pretty good, so I'm just going to attack like this. Um, if they want to trade both of their guys for my 5-5, five five, that's fine. And yeah, that's 5 damage, so that's fine. Then we can play this guy. We have a million creatures on the board. We can hit for four, seven, eight, nine. What is this? Woo! Okay. Vigilance and lifelink, and they can pay seven life to kill a thing. But if we get them below seven, then that's good. Um. It's a very good card. This is Menace. And this can trade for it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that attack's okay. So we pump you once. That's five, so they can't even pay seven life until after damage is dealt. Sure. I will double block your Vona. Skyblade of the Legion, what are you? Flying 1 3, okay. Yeah, I would bottom that as well. Well, of all the lands to draw, Mountain was the best. Um, I don't really want to trade my Firebrand with just the random Menace guy. What happens if I swing out? This block's here. This block's here. They take 5 gain 4, that's terrible. I like attacking here. I don't know if I like attacking with the Firebrand. I don't think so. It's such a good blocker for Vona. Yep. Yep. Three three menace. Um Do I wanna trade my two two for your three three? I think that's fine. Yeah, I don't think that attack is very good for them. 
They're trading a 4-drop Menace for a 2-drop random guy who can't even attack because they have a 4-4 lifelinker. Okay. Yeah, I think I just attack for 2. Pounce is good. It means I can eat their Vona, but I would lose my guy. But I can do that in case of emergencies. Yeah. Because um, I'm still winning them as it stands on board. What cost this much mana? Sure. Doesn't have flying. I need them to not hit. But I don't want to pounce in response. Okay, yeah, I just needed to not hit there. That's very important. <laughs> okay, it's uh, that'll do it. That's game one. Okay, game two. They're black white with a lot of one ones. Fire shrine keeper, dino stampede. They have a ton of life linkers, but all their creatures are pretty small. I think the only thing is, do I want a 5-4 against them? <sighs> Probably not on the draw. Maybe I'll bring it in on the play. But Rampaging Ferocidon actually is very good against them now that I think about it. Nice life link guy. Uh, oh yeah, any planes this hand is great, and even without a planes it's still acceptable. Okay. Uh, given that we drew Ferocidon, we're gonna play the knight. This card is a nightmare for my opponent. I kind of want to just keep it around as long as possible. As counterintuitive as it is, I'm going to attack first and hope they vanquish the weak. Um, I don't want them killing my Ferocidon. So I'm losing out on one point of damage, but gaining a lot of value if they end up killing this guy. Okay. It looks weird, for sure. But I just wanted to make sure that they weren't just holding up a removal spell. Yeah. Take a damage. You can't gain a life. Oh gosh, if that's all they have, they're in not a good place. Take six. You're dead. It's like the best 2-3-4 you can possibly have. Okay. So they're at 10. They can double block my Ferocidon, and then they take 5, 6, 7, 8, and go to 2. And they lose their Bloodletter. 
Um, or I can just attack with this guy, they just double block it. If I attack with both, um, then they just double block this guy and only take three. So I'm going to commune with the dinosaurs and see if I can find anything better. Okay, we have a planes, so we can send in a hasty sky terror next turn. To finish them off. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Um, fire Cannon Blast, Horncrest, Knight, Dinos. So we play our planes. Yeah, I'll offer the trade for the double block on Ferocidon if they really want. Because um, we can get past the life linker. Yeah. So you take eight, go to two. Then we play you. And you. And they've got a lot of work to do. <clears throat> Their best bet is slamming some lifelink guy, but we have a menace flyer coming down. Who's sneaky because he has haste, but there's no way for them to see that. Okay. Undefeated in draft. Look at all those sweet, sweet prizes, which I don't think you can see because the way my recording is, but it's cool. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, you've done pretty well in Excellent so far, so hopefully we can keep it going.